most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. When a man is recording for his life, recording for his profession, recording his portfolio, he does not need someone outside of his life, outside of his business, outside of his intimacy groups, interfering with his rights. The problem we have in America is that people commit mail theft, identity theft, fraud, and cybercrime. This is a major problem in America today. We also have the truth that people do make medical rights violations. They practice malfeasance, which is when they know something about what is correct to do, but they choose not to do it in order to protect or offer privilege to themselves based on their opinion. It often means that they are not a certified specialist in the situation at hand. Malfeasance can be practiced in many industries. In my industry of marketing, there's probably a concept sort of of malfeasance, but at the same time, there may be a malpractice in my industry. When I talk about these things, people typically go straight to malpractice of medicine, but that's not all of it. There is malpractice and malfeasance in mental health industries across the planet. And the truth is, God made people with a lot of predilections. It's almost one of the angel's favorite words. But what I can tell you is that predilection to something has been gifted by the Lord for a lot of life lessons. Not only for the individual, but for the people who are intimately involved in a person's life. Not those who choose to stalk, harass, and interfere with a man's life. You see, when I welcome you into my life, when I welcome and what I like to term as enfold you into my ministry or my mission or my programs or my meetings, then I've done my job properly. But when I produce discrimination, I might just be producing a determination that your way of conducting yourself is a mismatch to either my life or some people in my group. There was a time when I had an example, which I'll relate very quickly, in one of my BSNT forum meetings where we had two insurance agents. We had had one for a long time, and I did not want to disparage her business. I also knew that she did not cover every aspect of insurance. She was okay with welcoming a young up-and-comer into the business talking slightly about insurance because that allowed her more grace and seasoning and what we might call, well, gosh, uh, how do we say it? Just more experience. The truth is in life that eventually the man left because he was offended by how my marriage came about and I don't even remember how the casual conversation came about, but he took offense and he walked out in his religious right movement attitude. And I thought, okay, is that malfeasance to our group and maybe it's appropriate to our group because in our group we do not distinguish is not true in our group we do not discriminate what we do try to help people to do is make matches to the right type of networking opportunities the right type of professional organizations the right type of industry associations that might be more productive for them on many levels not only on the level of doing more business and adding more income to their home life and private life or personal life and intimate relationship lives but in truth, are more opportunities for them to network in case something happens in their work, a downturn in the economy, which I learned from a very important woman friend of mine that that happens to people. It ultimately happened to me too, where the competition is too high, the opportunities are too few, and openly we have to time out and shift our life to a more regularized paycheck, as opposed to a commission or residual income situation like we find in, well, say insurance and other things. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what we can do for people. And what I usually choose to do for people when they approach me is sort of qualify the consumer. Why are they approaching me? What is their motivation? Why is it they need to give me something or attach themselves to me in that moment? And what I usually find is that it's a play and it's a game and it's some way to abuse and I don't like that because in our lifetime the Lord above is always looking down from heaven making the distinction of who is really working their life towards Jesus and who is not.